Hello YouTube. Um, today we're going to go over math as a language part two. Um, I did a part one video, um, and that one was pretty good about like this implies this or things like that. Um, just pretty much mathematical no notation. Um, so today we're going to go over some more of that because um, it was kind of a fun video to do. I figured I'd make another one. Um, so here we go. Whoop! You didn't see that. Okay. Anyway. Um, so, first, we're going to go over what these um, symbols in red mean, um, but first we need to identify a few things. So, sets. Um, sets are a collection of things, and um, a collection of those things are called elements. Um, those are called elements. So, so collection of things is elements, and what's in them are, or no, collection of things are sets, and what's in them are called elements. For example... Um, if you have this set of 1, 3, 7, and 8, the bracket notation is the set, um, and what's in it, so the numbers, are the elements. So 1, 3, 7, and 8. Okay, so what is this um, X, some weird letter or symbol, A? What's that mean? Well, that actually means X is an element of A. Um, and here's an example of that. So in purple, I have 3 is an element of the set 1, 3, 7, and 8. So you can tell that um, in the set, the number 3 is there. Um, and with the number 3, it's just pretty much just saying that 3 is in uh, the set. 3 is an element of that set. Now, if you have the same thing, x is with a line through it of the element set of A means x is not um, an element of A. So another example, if you had 4 um, in the same set, 4 is not an element of, of the set, so 4 is not an element of A. Um, just means that it's not present in that data set. Okay, now what's this mean? You've probably seen it before. The union symbol, A union B. Well, what does that mean? Um, that also means or, so like A or B. What's in A or B? So if you have two sets, 1, 3, and 5, and 3, and 9, uh, the union of these two sets would be everything um, th that would be, I guess, that they both have, like or. So pretty much you would take all... Uh, so even though there are five numbers there, you would take four because three is a common factor or common one. You don't repeat it. Um, it's just saying that it's in those two sets combined. Um, now, on the other hand, let's do another example. If you had three unions, um, let's see. So you would have one. I try to go in order so you see the one, two, three, four. Well, let's just see. Uh, 7, 8, 12, and 15, so which is pretty much every number, but notice how there's two 8s, um, and we didn't repeat the 8, uh, just keep that in mind as well when you're doing that, no no repetitions when you're doing unions, because it's already included. Um, this intersect sign, or look, kind of looks like an N, means A intersect B, and that means AND um, in math, lingo, or language. Um, and an example of this, if we have the set 1, 3, 5, intersects 3, 9, what do those two have in common? Only what they have in common. What do they share? And that is the number 3. Um, make sure you include the set notation. Um, let's do another example. But um, if you have those three here, these three intersections, um, look at 2 is not in any of them, 7 is not in any of them, 8 is not in any of them, 1 is not in any of them, 4 is not in any of them. Oh, wait. I think I included 7. I didn't mean to put that 7 there. But if they had nothing in common, it would be the empty, or it would be uh, there is nothing. It's no solution kind of thing. If there was nothing in common between all three. Oh, wait a minute. Even if, even if, see how one, uh, there's two, there's a 7 in the first set and a 7 in the second set, because it's not in the third set, it does not count. That's what I was trying to explain. Yeah. Okay, so um, be careful with that. That's a common trap. Um, now this last one, a slash b, means a minus b. Um, and that just means, like, it kind of looks like dividing, but um, it's not. It just pretty much means, like, if you were to subtract um, the first set, the numbers from the first set, what would you end up with? Now, order matters in this ca in this case, so um, just kind of pay attention with that. 
So you're looking at what the second set and how it affects the first set. Since there's a 3 in common, the 3 is removed. It's like subtracting minus. So 3 minus 3 is 0. So you'd only be left with the 1 and 5. Even though you have the 3 and the 27, you still only keep the 1 and 5 because you're subtracting 3 from nothing and 27 from nothing. Um, so it really depends on that first set. So keep, a, keep an eye on the first set. Order does matter. Um, what you're doing is simply subtracting the numbers from the first set. Remember that. Um, so here's another example. Um, 3, 9, 27 subtracted from 1, 3, 5. So just showing that order matters. Now you're subtracting the 3. Um, they will also go away. But the 9 and the 27 will be left over because you're, the 1 and 5 are being subtracted from nothing. So see how these two examples are this are very similar. They're just the same sets but flipped showing that order matters, and that's what I wanted to show here. Okay, now we're going to do a few examples. Um, if you feel like you got it, um, hang on in for the examples and test your knowledge. Okay, here we have some examples. Um, I'm just going to kind of go through the answers real quick um, because this video is kind of turning out longer, longer than I expected, but here we go. Um, so A, union B, pretty much everything that they have in common, so you write down every number that they have in common without duplicating, and you would get this. Um, Next one is the intersection of all those things, or the union, sorry, the union of all those things. So again, same concept. Uh, you list every single number, but don't duplicate them, um, and you would get this set here. Uh, next one, uh, there's two in this row here. So you have the intersect. So what do they have in common? Well, the first one, there's nothing in common. 12, 15, 16, 17, there's nothing in common there, so there's nothing. Um, now the next one um, would be just 8 and 10. Those are the only two things that they have in common. Um, next one down, what do all three of those have in common? Even though there might two of them might share a commonality, the key is what do all three of them have, and that is the number eight. Um, next thing, uh, we got, remember order matters for this one, so you're looking just at the first set subtracted from the second set. You would only be left with the same set A because you wouldn't subtract, you would pretty much subtracting 0 minus 16, 0 minus 17, doesn't matter. Um, it's you're just leaving the original set there. Um, now what about this one? 8, 10 subtracted from that set. Well, 8 and 10 would be subtracted um, and you would be left with nothing um, in the set. So remember, order matters. Look at that first set. Um, okay, next one here would be you're subtracting 8 and 10 again, but you would have a remainder. Remember, these two are similar, but I flipped them um, so you could see why order matters, and that means you would have the 12 and 16 left over. Finally, have one last example. Um, this one, just pay attention. Again, order matters. Look at that left set. Compare it to the right and subtract um, the numbers from the right, and you would be left with 10 and 12. Um, hope these examples helped you um, understand the concepts better and tested your knowledge. Um, and I guess happy studying and have a great rest of your day.